Attention all beings please. See the following message regarding the sightings of humans in your galactic quadrant. It has come to our attention. That there have been several confirmed sightings of humans within your galactic quadrant. The following instructions are mandatory for all tier 1 and above civilizations. Lock up and police all galactic refuse centers. Do not accept any invitations for trade or battering. Do not allow them to have a look around or play with your technology, especially any type of weapon. Interbreeding is strictly forbidden. Do not allow humans aboard your vessel planet or moons. Above all else, do not make them mad. Do not let them see these warnings, do not imply they are unwelcome. The Galactic Council will not protect you in that scenario. The Galactic Council would also remind you that humans have been seen breaking into and experimenting with tech that should be generations beyond their understanding. We also acknowledge that while their small beady eyes, long multi-jointed grasps and hairless bodies are grotesque, some beings seem to have developed an odd affinity for these creatures. Be assured. They are pests. This is a reminder that these regulations are written through experience. Please see below for anecdotal evidence for the need for the above. We thought it would be fine, you know. Let them poke around a bit in some old junk that we had left over from the last solar parade. Next thing we know, one of our moons was gone, and the jump drives from three of our ships had been stolen. Dirty little thieves. Lusfer Maker System. They seemed so friendly at first primitives offering simple foodstuffs in return. For what were essentially trinkets. They even had some interesting spices that we had never heard of before. It wasn't until after we presented those spices to the governor that we realized most were either dangerous or literally just poison. Anyway, now I'm a pirate fleet captain wanted for political assassination. It's great, humans even helped me pick out my pirate name. Captain Nobert Unknown System. One second they were playing with an old gravity control module. The next I had my own personal gravity reversed. And spent three weeks walking on the ceiling until they could figure out how to reverse it. Do you know how hard it is to eat when only your gravity has changed? Or bath? Or anything else? The messes oh ancestors the messes. Ambassador Kreft's burgeon system. Even seen a drawn than human hybrid. Turns out they breed much faster than we expected. Now they're the most significant voting bloc on our planet. And every time we try to explain the value of our traditional beliefs and practices. They just say okay drummer. They're so mean, plus our pure breed population is dropping cause. No one seems to want to reproduce the normal way. Stupid sexy humans. Anonymous Dromthan candidate Dromthan conglomerate. We used to have an entire system. Stars beyond number. Then the humans came. They claimed they only wanted a single outpost. For mining purposes they claimed. But then they were everywhere. In our cities, our homes, our beds wait no, I didn't mean that. Can you edit that part out? What do you mean no, do you know who I am? I'm the void damned president of this system. Listen here you motherless son of a name redacted system. Where Krigo Front is president these regulations bear the rule of law. Anyone found in violation of these requirements will be subject to galactic quarantine. This is your only warning. Vice Governor Lesuctum looked up nervously from the flashing warning on his personal holopod. Around him, the humans that he had invited to the planet. Mingled with his personal entourage. Exchanging small items. Examining his new railgun design, even flirting with his wife. Deep, deep under the burgeoning panic, he felt a flare of indignation at that. Violations of the highest magnitude were happening before his eyes. And the fact that he had been unaware of such rules was an argument. The Galactic Council would laugh about as they imposed a galaxy-wide quarantine. Lesuctum looked back to the holopod. Rereading the experiences of past human survivors. For some reason, the lack of a story around the final point made him more nervous than all the rest. A heavy arm dropped around his thin shoulders. Startling him out of his thoughts. A voice boomed in his ear. Hey buddy, whatcha looking at? Lesuctum froze as the human captain's eyes quickly swept the document, seeming to linger on pests and grotesque. The human's face, usually split in that unnerving display. They called a smile, now showed no emotion. Excuse me, Vice Governor, I think I need to go make a quick call. The human quickly moved down the hall. Something about his gait brought to mind the inancient and the light predator. Fear bloomed inside him again. Despondent, the vice-governor reached into his pocket for the present the human had brought him. 
a small orange vegetable, something they called a scorpion pepper. He took a bite, wondering how in the world he would get out of this mess. The burning sensation hit his face right about the same time Awful began running down his legs, and Lasuctum was suddenly confident that a few pesky galactic violations were about to be least of his worries. The author's name and the link to original text is in the description. Consider tapping the thumbs up and pressing the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video.